Today I have a wonderful story for you and we also learn something from that story. So the story is about a monkey and a crocodile. The monkey lived on a jamun tree and the crocodile lived in the river. So a long time ago there was a monkey and a crocodile. They both were great friends. And as you know, the monkey lived on a jamun tree. He would always share his jamun with the crocodile. And the crocodile used to daily come and talk to the monkey and enjoy the sweet and delicious fruit jamun every day. Now one day the monkey gave some jamun fruit to the crocodile as a gift for his wife. So the crocodile took the jamun to his wife. And as the crocodile gave the jamun to his wife, she ate the delicious fruit and she was my as she popped the fruit inside her mouth oh it was so sweet it was so delicious oh she said to mr crocodile mr crocodile this fruit is so delicious so mr crocodile said yes my friend daily gives me this fruit he lives on a tree and he's a monkey. So Mrs. Crocodile said, Well, Mr. Crocodile, if the fruit is so delicious, so tasty, so sweet, the heart of monkey must also be sweet. Can I get the heart of monkey to eat? Mr. Crocodile said, well, Mrs. Crocodile, this will be quite wicked as he's my friend. I cannot betray him. But Mrs. Crocodile said, Well, you don't know, Mr. Crocodile. The doctor said, If you don't eat the heart of a monkey, you will die. So Mr. Crocodile was disturbed and next day he once again went to the monkey. Today he was very sad. He was not talking as cheerfully as he used to. The monkey asked him, Mr. Crocodile, today why are you so sad? So the crocodile said, well, uh, monkey, well, I'm not sad, but uh, I want to tell you something that today uh, my wife has invited you for a tea party. So why didn't you tell me that before? And you are so sad. Well, I just wanted to give you a surprise. So the monkey was so happy and he started collecting some jamuns and and he packed some jamuns and then he said to the crocodile, oh, Well, how will I go? So the crocodile said, That's not a problem. You can sit on my back and we will go together. So the monkey sat on the back of the crocodile and both went to the house of crocodile. But on the way, the crocodile and the monkey reached the middle of the river. The crocodile said to the monkey, 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 I want to tell you something. You are my friend and I cannot hide this from you. Monkey said, What do you want to say? I'm so happy that I'm going to your house. The crocodile said, but listen to me first, monkey. So the monkey said, well, say. So the crocodile said to the monkey, 
dear monkey, my friend, my wife wants to eat your heart because the doctor has advised her to eat monkey's heart. Otherwise, she will die. Now the monkey was very sad. At the same time, he had to use his intellect. So he was wise enough and he said to the crocodile, uh, Well, um, crocodile, uh, you should have told me this before uh, as I have left my heart on the tree hanging there. So the crocodile said, Well, then we'll have to go. So the monkey said, Well, let's go quickly. And they reached to the tree. And as they reached the tree, to the tree, the monkey jumped and hung on the tree and said to the crocodile, 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 you know my heart is within me. It is not hanging on the tree. You are such an ungrateful and such a bad friend of mine. I believed you. You betrayed our friendship. It's really very bad. I'm really very sad. So the crocodile left the monkey and went away. So children, what do we learn from the story? We learn that we need to be faithful towards our friends. We need to be good towards our friend. We should never cheat our friends. So in schools, you must be having many friends, children. You should never cheat them. Be always good towards your friends, children. So children, if you have liked the story and you are new on my channel, please do subscribe, like and share the story. See you soon. All the best. Bye-bye.